Hello and thanks for tuning in to the Black Hat Bushcraft channel. Today I wanted to share with you a quick idea. Uh, I actually just finished up a summer camp. It's a wilderness survival camp for young students here. It was held on the campus of one of our local private schools. This morning I was talking with the kids and I've mentioned several times throughout the week that you can make tea out of pine needles. And they were really curious about it so they asked me some questions. I said let's make it. We had a little extra time. So what we did was we got a fire going and we needed a tripod so that we could get our pot over the fire. And I didn't want to take a whole lot of time lashing a tripod together. So we went out in the woods and we cut down uh, three trees that had forks on it. And we've actually made our tripod that way. So I wanted to share this idea with you. I'm sure somebody else has done this too. I just don't recall seeing it on a video. And so I thought I'd share it with you in case you have, haven't seen this method. It's a very quick and easy way of making a tripod. Stick with me and we'll take a close look. All right, so you can see what I've got here. It's just three posts that I cut, each one having a Y on the end. This one's arguably a Y. Um, and then you can see this one here, and then this one. And basically my idea was just to take these and interlock them whichever way they'd fit so that they would support each other, lock into place, and make a sturdy tripod. Very simple, no cordage necessary. All right, the next thing I did was simply attach a toggle to a piece of bank line, just like this. And once I ran my toggle through the bell of my bush pot, then I just brought that cordage up here, the top of the tripod, and just put it in the fork. And now, from there, I took the excess cordage and I just kind of wrapped it interchangeably around the different parts of the fork which gave, I guess, the tripod a little bit of extra support, not that it needed it, and then just wrap that around and tie a half hitch. It's very simple, and all that kind of helps to secure the tripod in place a little bit better. But you can see, it's quite sturdy. Definitely sturdy enough for simple cooking over the fire with a pot. All right, so that's a very simple way that you can improvise a tripod with very little or no cordage. Uh, the only cordage you have to have is that that you're going to suspend your bush pot over your fire on your toggle with. But the actual tripod itself obviously doesn't need any cordage and you're just utilizing the resource that Mother Nature's already giving you with the Ys in those posts. Uh, so if you were trying to conserve your cordage, this will be a good uh, solution for that as well. Or if you had to improvise natural cordage uh, to hang your bush pot with, you just need a minimal amount and that'll make your life a lot easier as well. Thought it was a great idea. Just wanted to share it with everyone. Hope you're doing well. I look forward to talking to you with another video as soon as possible. And until that time, take care and God bless. This is a 360 view of how this all came together. Man, it's hot out here. Whew.